think I'm finally ready to film this video. And the notes from my iPad are like, what, what, whoa. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me already, my name is Sarah. I've lived with diabetes for 20 years, 22 years, over 20 years, yikes. Um, and this channel is just about my life with diabetes. So make sure you are subscribed, have your notifications on, and follow me on Instagram at the Diabetic Cactus. But anyway, enough with who I am. I wanted to make this video because it has been over a month now since I have gotten back on the pump on the tandem, let me pull it, out of my trusty case, my Tandem T-Slip X2 with control IQ, what? It's been over a month, almost two months since I've been on it. I think I started it April 7th and it is May 20th. But this video is going up June, whatever the first Friday in June is. Uh, I don't know off the top of my head. Um, but I want to take this video and give you guys a little update on how things are going, what I'm thinking so far, my thoughts, my feelings, and yeah. So I wrote down a couple questions that I thought I would answer. Um, one, the first question is, how is it going with the pump overall? Overall, I'm finding it that I like it more than I thought I would. I thought I would kind of be like, oh, okay, it's a good change, but I miss pens. But there are a couple reasons I really like it. One is I can just reach down and give myself insulin by the click of a button, the touch of a touch screen, because this is a touch screen. Um, and I don't have to, you know, like search for my pen or do whatever. I also like the control IQ that it like adjusts me. I'll talk more about control IQ a little later, but overall I've really, I'm really glad I went back on the pump and like, this is kind of what I thought would happen is I'd be like, eh, but then I'd really love it. That's what's going on is I was not so sure about it when I decided to do it, but now that I'm on it, I'm really, just really into it. And it's just, it's made my life a lot easier, honestly. Easier in some ways, more complicated in others. Um, so overall, the pump experience has been really good and I've really enjoyed it. And it's just like super convenient. Um, my second question that I wrote was, do I miss being on pens? And there are parts that make me miss being on pens and there are also parts where I'm like, well, I don't miss it. One, I miss the freedom of injecting like I could inject in my legs. I haven't really done a pump site on my legs. I'm honestly kind of scared to do that, but I do want to do that eventually. Um, I could use my arms. I could, I don't know, just like toss my pen in my bag and I'd be good to go. Although that's also one of my complaints about the pen is I would have to remember where I put it and if I need to take insulin, get up and go get it or find it somewhere. Um, another thing that I don't miss about being on the pens is taking Traceba. Now, I loved, love Traceba. It's nothing against the literal Traceba drug, but it's more like I would, you know, go to a friend's house at night and like totally forget that I needed to bring my Traceba that I take at 8 p.m. every night or I would I don't know like go out to dinner I would forget that I needed to grab my Traceba and I hate forgetting stuff as I'm sure most people do so I'd be like oh I gotta leave go get it um so to answer the question overall there are definitely parts of the pen that I miss and there are parts of the pen that I don't miss um so so that's my answer to that question um, question, the third question I wrote down is how have my sites been? And I'm like a really fidgety person, so I'm spinning back and forth in my chair. Um, so I'm sorry if that is annoying. But my third question is how have the sites been? So I was, whoa, my computer's going off. I, at the start of going back on a pump, was really nervous about the sites because the last time I was on a pump was the Omnipod and those sites were terrible. They failed, they hurt, they were extremely painful. Like. Maybe I'm a big wuss, but I did not enjoy my time on the Omnipod, uh, not really at all. I mean, there were parts of it I liked, but I found the sites really painful, so I was a little nervous that I was gonna experience the same thing with the Tandem sites. And for the record, I'm on the, let me go get one so I can make sure I'm giving you the right information. Okay, I'm on the AutoSoft XC90, 90? Nine millimeter 
43 inches this is what it looks like so essentially it's like goes straight in there's no angle i think the angle of the omnipod was really um messing me up before but these sites have been really good and i really love them um i haven't had any problems the only thing i've noticed is well i just slipped <laughs> The only thing I've noticed is at, if I leave my site in for the full three days, like I'm after the official three day mark when I change my site is the insulin kind of starts to like not really work, which makes sense because one, you've been giving yourself insulin in the same spot for three days and two, I don't know, it gets warm after being against your body for a couple days, but the first two and a half days, basically three days are perfect and great and work it works wonderfully and I haven't had any kinked sites I haven't had any I had one problem which was that I injected the site and then I pulled like this part away the plastic part and the whole site came with it but I think that was my fault I think I didn't give the alcohol enough time to dry so it didn't stick but ever since then I've made sure I let the alcohol dry make sure it's like good to go and they've stuck I haven't experienced anything falling off, but I haven't also gone swimming with this yet, so we'll see how that goes once we cross that bridge. But the sites have not been that bad, definitely not as bad as I catastrophize them to be in my head. Um, the site changes haven't been, I don't think I've had a painful one. I've had some that have gotten a little sore after like a couple of days, and I especially personally notice they get sore if I take a bunch of like big boluses like over 10 units which is like kind of normal for me so I try and break those up a little bit or if I am gonna eat a lot I'll do like a pretty big pre-bolus window like definitely 30 minutes which oh that's one thing to add to the pump is I have found pre-bolusing to be way easier I don't know why but it's like okay I know like oh okay I'm gonna eat in like 30 minutes which I actually am gonna probably eat in 30 minutes so I should pre-bolus right now let me do that really quick and so I can just show you how freaking easy it is to take insulin. Um, although I can't really like show you, but I'm eating for lunch. Okay, I remember. So I'm gonna take 10 units for my lunch and I'm gonna eat in half an hour. So just boom, my lunch bolus is initiated. Now let me put my pump back in my thing so it doesn't fly all over the place. Um, what was I talking about? I totally lost my train of thought. Pre-bolusing, duh. Um, Pre-bolusing has been weirdly a lot easier on the pump. Like, I don't know why. I don't, it connects better in my brain to do it and the amount of time, I don't know. I can't explain it, but it's been great. Um, now, earlier in this video, I said I was gonna talk about control IQ a little more. So here I go. My next question is, how has control IQ been? Control IQ has been really great. Um, the only time it hasn't been good is like when I drove to California, I might have mentioned this in that video, but I think instead of like, if I know I'm going to spend a long time sitting, um, I should do a temp basal instead of let control IQ do its thing. Cause, but there was a bunch of things kind of working against me there. I think I had an old site as a, in the heat or something. I don't know. Control IQ didn't work that one time. But other than that, I only have positive things to say about it. The sleep mode has been great. The exercise mode has been wonderful. Um, the day that I'm filming this video, it is May 20th. I have a video coming out on using Control IQ while I hike. So I really love it for that. It's been great at like stopping my lows. I definitely, definitely see a difference in like how much I eat for a low. Like I used to just like stuff my face with candy, whatever, and then I'd be like bouncing all around my Dexcom graph, but I'm doing a lot better at that now. And I think a lot of that has to do with control IQ suspending me and not, like I don't need as much food or as much sugar to bring me back up from a low. So that's been really great. And I've really, really loved control IQ. I really don't think it's ever failed me. I've never been like, oh, Control IQ is like not doing what I want it to do right now. It's been pretty consistent and the algorithm of it is like really, really great, which I did hear that before I started the pump was that a lot of people really love the Control IQ. And I was like, oh, wait till it gets with me because I'm difficult. But no, it's been not a problem at all. It's been really great. My last 
question or just like topic I want to talk about is my settings. I know when I started my pump, I had said like, I'm not sure about my settings because we're just kind of going in flying blind. Like we think this is what's right, we'll see. So I have met with my endo since starting the pump and we made a couple of adjustments which have, which have really helped. Um, they were able to see also like where I needed the adjustment. So again, another reason I really like control IQ, this is kind of going to the last question, but I have figured my settings out a little more since then and speaking with my endo. So like if you get on the pump, Make sure you talk to your endo about your settings. I did, <laughs> because this is a new endo, I know how my last endo would have reacted to this, but because it was a new one, when I walked into the appointment, I said like, so what kind of doctor are you? Like, can I make my own changes? And like, you're cool with that? Or like, do you like to make the changes? Like, what's the vibe here? And he was like, no, as long as you're not making any like drastic changes and you kind of know what you're doing, which you seem like you do, like you can make whatever changes you want, just don't Put like a million boluses on or a million basils on and you know like overwhelm it i was like no totally cool but the change that he did make i actually really like and work really well and i have not touched them i thought i was gonna have to mess with them but they were good so that's basically it that's a very quick gist of like how the pump is going overall again i kind of started with overall but overall i'm really liking it i'm looking forward to using it over the summer um <sighs> And yeah, my only, actually, honestly, this isn't even a negative. I should have put this in my questions category, but the travel with the pump. Yeah, hold on. I'm not done with this video. Yeah, I gotta talk about travel. The travel with the pump has been totally easy. Um, And a couple videos ago, you guys will have seen that I went, flew home for Mother's Day. And that was my first time traveling with the pump. It was no worries going through security. Um, the These are a little bulky to pack, but like, you throw them away as you use them. So you go on your trip with a lot of stuff and you leave with a lot less of stuff. But um, yeah, the packing of it was super easy. None of my stuff got flagged. I went through the security machine. It was no worries. They just do the pat down thing. I kind of talked about that in that video. Um, and bolusing on the plane was also really easy. I didn't realize how much like I missed being able to just press a button and give myself insulin because like when I was flying home I'd be like oh I need some insulin let me just pull out my pump and like tap it in and that was it and it was great when before I'd be like oh I gotta get my pen out and find it and like sanitize my hands and then like pull up my shirt inject it people are gonna see me I don't really care about that part but like people are gonna be like oh what's that girl doing um but the pump is much more what's the word I'm looking for low-key hideable inconspicuous that's the word I'm looking for. I don't even know how to spell that word, but the pump is much more inconspicuous. It was a dream to travel with. Um, I took it with me. I went to Disney later in the trip that I filmed one of my last videos on, and it was great there. No one questioned me about anything. And yeah, so travel has been good with it. Um, but I am going on some more trips, so we will see if the travel continues to go well. I assume it will, but you never know. That's basically it for this video. I know this is kind of long and kind of a chatty video. I feel like my next couple videos are going to be a little chatty, like sit down videos like this, but we've done a couple of what feels like adventure videos, so it's time for some sit down ones. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments what kind of videos you want to see. I always love to hear your feedback and what you think. So um, if that's everything, which I think it is, don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me on Instagram. And I will see you guys in my next video. Goodbye.